inauguration of St. Lawrence's 18th president occurred this weekend. William Fox, class of 75, enjoyed a busy week and weekend with family, friends, faculty, staff, current students, and alumni. Here's just a glimpse of some of the week's activities. So tell us a little bit about your involvement with Inauguration Week and this weekend. Um, well, I'm in the Laurentian Singers, and this weekend we're singing, uh, well last night we sang at the senior dinner um, for both the senior class and the board of trustees and the alumni council. And tonight we're singing at Sleuth's Got Talent, which is a talent show. And we're gonna close that tonight with the school songs, and then tomorrow we're gonna sing at the inauguration ceremony for President Fox and we're going to sing the school songs and they're really really special because um, well first of all they're really well written but they really speak about the pride that every student feels when they come to St. Lawrence and um, will feel for the rest of their life in the St. Lawrence community so looking out into the, like the audience and seeing people even with tears in their eyes or just the biggest smiles on their faces really makes um, the Laurentian singers feel proud and like makes us really feel part of the St. Lawrence community. So it's going to be a really good weekend as far as singing is concerned. Tell us your experiences with President Fox. President Fox came out to the women's cross country practice at 6.30 in the morning, which is very early. And it, to me it showed his dedication to getting to know individuals on the campus and learning, um, getting to know them on a personal level, which is really important to me. As an upper classman, what are some of your hopes for President Fox? Um, well, as an active member of Let Us Turn Us the Beat and EAO, I'd like to see President Fox support our sustainability projects because I think it's a very important part of our liberal arts education. Yeah, so I just want to congratulate President Fox. It was great seeing him and his family around campus during the inauguration. Last night I attended the uh, senior dinner and in addition to meeting trustees and people on the senior council, I also got to meet President Fox and he seems like a really personable guy and I'm excited to see what he has to do for the university. So it was a great opportunity and experience overall. Tell me about your um, involvement with Inauguration Week. Okay, with Inauguration, um, I was nominated to be a, uh, a student representative. So pretty much that means that I dressed up in a, a, a colored gown and I, I walked with the rest of the students serving as sort of a student section um, showing, uh, I guess, representation of the, the school itself during the inauguration. Um, and President, President Fox gave a brilliant speech on um, how he felt that the community at St. Lawrence was a happy community and how he thought that that was the most important thing for a college, especially in these, day and age, these, these days, you know, where happiness seems to be one of the most essential things that we can find. Um, and I was happy that he didn't come out and give all of these like ridiculous rants about what he's going to do and what he's going to try to change because you can't start with that because then that leaves you know a lot of a lot of fulfillments that he must obtain by you know at the end of his term. But at least he's coming out and expressing his love and expressing his, de his determination for for changing things on campus. And I think that's probably the most important thing that a president at this point can do. And he has a great attitude and he definitely displayed it. Um, I sang at Slew's Got Talent with the Sinners, and it was really fun. Um, the president and the board of trustees were really into it, and they're a really fun audience. Um, do you have any hopes for President Fox? Um, oh, I've seen him like, around uh, campus a lot at uh, sporting events. So as an athlete, um, I'm hoping that he'll come to uh, the baseball games uh, this spring. Yeah, so uh, I went to the inauguration. It was good. Food was great. Went to Nick and the Nice Guys, and uh, that was pretty awesome. Played air guitar. So last night was a senior dinner. Um, got to meet a bunch of different alums and the Board of Trustees. Really exciting night. Um, again, I got to speak with uh, President Fox. Is another one of those different occasions where you get to see him. Um, he's a really warm and welcoming uh, guy. Uh, he's really got the, the students here's um, you know best interests at heart, and I think also the campus as a whole. Um, on another night, um, talking to his wife Lynn. Um, you know, she's another one of those um, people behind the scene, and I think that behind every great man, there's a, there's a great woman, and uh, it really holds true for for the two of them. Um, you know, great great lady. Talked to her last night for a while, and uh, you know, she's here to help. And you know, both of them, I, I think they have a promising future, both for the campus and the community. And uh, we'll see where it goes. This weekend as a whole, I uh, can't wait to see how things turn out, and uh, excited for it all. In his inauguration speech. President Fox reflected on what he values about St. Lawrence and what he wishes to protect. He emphasized the importance of happiness as a university, as St. Lawrence is and should always be.
congratulations to President Fox and his family. At St. Lawrence University, I'm Chelsea Newfer.